We now discuss question number 14. Now here we have to obtain the missing values of x, y and z. So first of all we simplify the left hand side. Now here within brackets we first perform the scalar multiplication then subtract the two matrices and then finally mul multiply with this matrix with elements 1, 2. So let us perform the scalar multiplication and simplify this part. So what we get here is now 3 2 is 6, 3 zeros are is 0, 3 zeros are 0, 3 2 is 6, 3 2 6 and again 3 into 2 is 6. Minus, next we multiply by 4, so we will get 4, 4, minus 4, this would be 8. 4 threes are is 12 and again a 4. You close the bracket and write this matrix with elements 1, 2. The right hand side remains the same. That is x minus 3, y minus 1 and 2z. Now you subtract the corresponding elements and see what we get. So 6 minus 4 would be 2. 0 minus 4 is minus 4. 0 minus of minus 4 is 4. 6 minus 8 is minus 2. 6 minus 12 is minus 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. Now we perform the matrix multiplication. Okay. And right hand side again it remains as it is that is x minus 3, y minus 1 and 2z. So let us perform the matrix multiplication. The rows multiplied by column. There is just one column here. So R1 into C1. So 2 ones are. That gives 2. Minus 4 into 2 is minus 8. Then R2, C1. So 4 ones are is 4. Minus 2 into 2. That is minus 4. R3, C1. So that is minus 6. And plus 4. Is equal to X minus 3. Y minus 1. And 2Z. Now if we simplify this. What we get is. We just interchange the sides. So this is x minus 3, y minus 1 and 2z equal to 2 minus 8 is minus 6. This would be 0. Minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. So therefore, by the property of equality of matrices, so by the equality of matrices, we could equate the corresponding elements. So we could equate x minus 3 with minus 6. Then y minus 1 could be equated with 0. And 2z could be equated with minus 2. So from here, we obtain the value of x. So x would be minus 6 plus 3. So finally we have x equal to minus 3. Over here we could get the value of y. y will be 0 plus 1. So we have y is equal to 1. And if we cancel out 2 on both sides, we get the value of z as minus 1. So these are the missing values of x, y and z. We now discuss Question number 15 from XS 2.3. The question says, Jay and Ram are two friends. Jay wants to buy four pens and eight notebooks. And Ram wants to buy five pens and 12 notebooks. The price of one pen and one notebook was rupees 6 and rupees 10 respectively. Using matrix multiplication, find the amount each one of them requires 
for buying the pens and notebooks okay so let the total amount spent by j be say rupees x and by ram be rupees y right so let us prepare the quantity matrix first so j and ram <clears throat> this will be the quantity matrix then we have pens and notebooks so we write pens and notebooks okay now j wants to buy four pens eight notebooks so we write four and eight and ram wants to buy five pens and 12 notebooks so this is the quantity matrix okay so this one is the quantity matrix next is they've given the rate as well so a price so we could say the price matrix okay now the price they have mentioned is 6 rupees for the pen and 10 rupees for the notebook so we have the pen and the notebook so 6 rupees and 10 rupees correct so the total amount which they will spend okay can be calculated as see now how we form the matrix equation here so therefore the total amount spent that is x y will be equal to the quantity into the rate now the quantity is 4 8 5 12 multiplied by the rate or the price that is 6 and 10 we perform the matrix multiplication the rows multiply by corresponding columns so we get the matrix x y equated to r1 into c1 now 6 4s are is 24 8 into 10 is 80 5 6s are is 30 12 10s are is 120 so we have the matrix x y and on the right hand side we have 104 and 150 so therefore by equality of matrices so by equality of matrices x is equal to 104 and y is equal to 150 that is J spends, he has to spend rupees 104 and Ram spends rupees 150. Now if you observe over here, this order is 2 cross 2 and the order of this matrix is 2 cross 1. So if we multiply the two matrices we get a resultant matrix with order 2 cross 1 and see this is 2 cross 1 so that is why we have written the matrix equation in this format so just perform the matrix multiplication the quantity matrix multiplied by the rate or the price matrix so quantity into the rate will give you the total uh, money that they have each of them have to spend and then by equality of matrices you get x as 104 and y as 150 like it share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos thank you